underneath all of our layers. And I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And let's do it at an angle which is relevant with our sunlight. Alright, actually I'm going to move this above everything or else we're not going to be shadowing anything. Filter Blur, Motion Blur. And there we go. Now we can see some clear effects of it. Uh, I'm going to go about that. And my settings are around, say, 600. Next, I'm going to add a mask and erase the top of our motion blur shadow which just leaves the bottom portion for us to use and manipulate. Next I'm going to hit control T which is the transform and I'm going to try to sort of expand our shadow so it sort of grows as it leaves our planet's surface. By the way, I'm holding down control to get this extra manipulation command. I'm going to rotate it a bit. And there we are. One interesting looking shadow. I'm going to add a, another layer mask, try to realistically as realistically as possible mask out that top again whoops it's a little bit too much mask in there Now, if you guys weren't watching, <laughs> I'd spend a lot more time on this part, but you guys would get pretty bored pretty quickly, so I don't think I'm going to do that. However, this is the general technique I use. A little bit of creativity. I'm sure you can make it look much better than I did. Alright, something like that. And there's our highly unrealistic shadow that is coming from our planet. Next, I'm going to give the wavy effect to our atmosphere. Uh, I don't know what to call it, but I'm going to go to filter, liquify, and that should bring up a new window, hopefully. There we go. And here's the brush settings that I'm using. Brush size, that's up to you. Brush density, I'd keep the same. Now, brush, brush pressure, that's basically the strength of your brush. And basically, we're just smudging these. So I'm going to drag this out, give it a little twist at times, try to make things interesting. And 
and this is basically just extending our gradient. All right. So now let's take a look. All right. As you can see, that's made our glow look considerably uh, neater. And I'm still really not satisfied with that shadow, but what can you do? Just adding some general tweaks to our planet. I'm just trying to make it blend better with the atmosphere. All right. So here's our image. I think I'm going to increase the strength of our gradient a bit more. And I'm going to add some additional rays. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to use just a standard white soft brush. I'm going to click once. And I'm going to hit Control T and hold Alt just to drag this and get a nice beam looking effect. I'm going to add these to our atmosphere and I'm going to do so by hitting Overlay and that should help it blend quite a bit. I'm going to hit Control T to transform and just change the direction of where these light beams are heading. Mainly they should be directed at the planet, but for all practical purposes it really doesn't matter where they're directed. As you can see, I'm just adjusting how they look. Now let's give a little bit more depth to these stars out back. It's just a little way too generic with our current noise filter. So I'm going to add it um, uh, masking filter. I'm going to go to filter render clouds and that should make our stars a lot more sparse and a lot more random. You can hit control F a few times to get a few more random settings. Uh, just pick what you like, of course. And let's see what other adjustments we can make. I'm going to up the contrast just a bit. That gives us the more reddish glow. And up the brightness just a bit. 
And I think I'm going to give some further depth to our uh, star field. I'm going to merge this layer with the background. I'm going to duplicate it. Make sure it's set to screen. And that brightens everything, but that's not the idea. I'm going to give it a motion blur of 40 degrees and make the distance about say 5 or let's see actually I have it at 11 there and then I'm gonna go back to the original layer duplicate that again go to filter blur motion blur and I'm gonna do a perpendicular angle and I'm gonna set that to screen and if you look closely that gives us well the illusion that these look a lot more like stars and we're just about done I'm gonna go to image apply image filter sharpen sharpen edit fade sharpen 56% and now I'm gonna try to center this planet somewhere near the well center of our composition so I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna add a new guide I'm gonna add a guide at 50% vertical so that'll be straight down the center of our canvas and I'm gonna add yet another guide and the horizontal direction at 50% oops not forty dollars fifty percent there we are and there's the center of our image so I have my image applied here and zoom out a bit and I'm just gonna try to center it just a bit more I can't move it over because we got nothing over there so now our planet is at mid-level and as you can see there's this gap of space up here I'm just gonna select that quick and just fill it with black or white uh, let's stick with black and I'm gonna hit control J to duplicate that layer and I'm gonna move the other layer down here now if you zoom in we got a pretty nice looking image very similar to the one that I said we would be making um, granted if you try this yourself you should be able to get a much better result um, when you have time to tinker around with things and make sure they look the very best that they can uh, let's get rid of these guides clear guides there we are um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I tried to make it as simple as possible. I didn't use any really fancy tricks or anything. So there you have it. Cool.